to text DHS recently announcing they'll start immigration raids early next month. And those on a priority list may include that surge of Central American immigrants from last summer. ABC 15's Allison Rodriguez is tracking the story, he joins us live from North Phoenix. And Allison, people may be turning to church for help. That's right, Steve. Well, with little warning, these families are left scrambling for guidance and for answers. Shadow Rock Church, which is where I'm right now, is putting a light up in their window to let the community know they are a sanctuary for some of those who may be on that priority deportation list. The faint glow of a single burning candle represents something much bigger to Pastor Kenneth Heinzelman. When we are offering sanctuary, then the candle is in the window. He heads up Shadow Rock Church in North Phoenix, a sanctuary and place of hope for people threatened by deportation. It allows people to resume their life, uh, to go back to work, uh, to stay with their families. He says it's just one tool to help people with their immigration cases. ICE officials saying they deported more than 235,000 people at the end of the fiscal year. Karina Ontiveros says she's worried her boyfriend could be targeted in the upcoming raids because he missed a court date that he didn't know he had. He only came to work and gave his family that he well the best. She says he's been here since he was 15 years old and he has no criminal background. They even have a 10 month old son which makes the prospect of him leaving even harder. He's the only person that he support me right now. So my child well he needs his parents, right? And I don't want to this, this happen to me and on nobody. ICE officers are expected to deport hundreds of families and in a statement released to ABC 15, they say in part, if individuals come here illegally, do not qualify for asylum or other relief and have final orders of removal, they will be sent back consistent with our laws and our values. Now, immigration activist groups are working to pair families with lawyers who may give them advice on what to do next. Meantime, DHS staying pretty tight-lipped on these upcoming raids on exactly when they're going to start and how they're going to be conducted. Faye.